In this lecture, we are going to learn about Spark AI Studio. We will be getting an overview of the interface. We will be learning about the Spark AI ecosystem, all right, and we will be doing a lot more things, all right. But before using Spark AI Studio, you need to download it. So this is the link, all right, sparkar.facebook.com slash AR studio slash download, all right. So you just need to click on the download. The uh, installer would be uh, downloaded on your system and the process is pretty simple. You just need to install it, all right. It's like any other installation process, all right. So from this, this website, you have to download it, all right. Now, here is the interface, all right. This is a dashboard, all right. Now, with this dashboard, we actually manage our projects within uh, Spark AR, all right. So first of all, this is the basic interface. Here are the templates, all right. This is the first uh, area that you, you are going to see after installing and opening the Spark AR Studio. Here, here are three, uh, well, means three bla uh, blank templates, all right, that is, Oh, one is totally blank, that is blank project, and there is sharing experience and video calling experience. All right, and other, other than th uh, these three, here are uh, some more, all right. So these are the basically uh, templates made by the Spark AR team and other creators, all right. So here you can see there are multiple, uh, multiple, multiple um, <clears throat> templates that you can get. This There is a face decoration, there is face mask, then there is body tracking, then there is neck decoration, then there is head tracking, all right. So these are the templates that you can explore, all right. There, here, here is a real scale world object tool that is that it means real world, like real world scanning, markerless scanning. So uh, you, you can like try to explore all these templates, all right. It would give you a humorous, uh, like huge amount of knowledge, all right. So these are the templates that you can work with now. Let's say uh, after this course, you want to explore uh, more of Spark Air. All right, so Spark Air has their own platform where they are, there are two to three courses on Spark Air. That is fundamentals of Spark Air. Then there is uh, like a totally free means those are totally free. All right. Then there is advanced Spark Air. All right. Uh, so you can fi find it on uh, on the internet. Uh, it's by Facebook only. It's totally free. You can watch there. All right, and if you want to learn more advanced AR development, all right, then I'm also going to launch one course. All right, uh, it's an ex it's called Exa 001 Augmented Reality for Everyone. All right, so it's an augmented reality mastery course. You can get that course. It would be a very low cost course, and it would be launching very soon uh, at my at my startup, uh, Antern. All right, so make sure to subscribe my channel to get the updates about it. All right. So here are the tutorials that you can get here. You can see there are multiple tutorials available about the coding all right about uh, means about creating a glow effect about face tracking all right. So you can learn it from there. and here are the recent projects all right. Here are the recent projects that you can uh, like if you if you create some projects all right inside of Spark AR, you will get those listed down in here all right and here is a open option. All right, so if you if you have a project file, then you can open that project file from here. All right, and here is the cre creator community option, then forum option, and what's new option. All right, so this is it. All right, now uh, to create a new project, you have to click on blank project. All right, so we would be choosing the blank project, and it would start creating the blank project for us. All right. So here you can see that our blank project has opened up. All right, so let's uh, get a bit comfortable with the interface. All right, so the very first thing, all right, the very first thing you are going to see is there is a person, all right, here you can see this, there, there is a person who is like rotating its head, all right, and here is a very small mobile-like window, all right, here is a very small mobile-like window that you can uh, see in here. So here, are, here is a simulation happening, all right, this is the person. So basically now these are test person. So whenever we create any sort of marker, all right, whenever we are going to create any sort of marker, these, uh, these are the test persons that we will be working with. All right. So our, we will be testing our markers on these test persons. All right. So this is kind of a small phone. You could say, all right, this is kind of a small phone, or you can also say <clears throat> this is a testing window, just like, uh, in unity. 
uh, you can even dock and undock it all right like click on this undock option then it would be undocked or simply when it is docking you can drag it drag it down all right and you can keep it anywhere you want all right but i i prefer this uh, one to be on the top all right so that that's where i'm going to keep it now let me let me shorten this window all right let me make the size small now here you can see that we are able to uh, see here's a total new scene where uh, a camera actually is there means there's this triangle thing is there and here's a film going on all right there's a video uh, going on so let me tell you what are these so first of all uh, in unity all right i introduced you to the scene window right in that scene window we used to add objects we can we could manipulate those objects in there right similarly in uh, spark here there is viewport window all right so basically this uh, viewport window what it does is we can add objects from uh, in the in the scene panel and uh, manipulate those objects from here all right so that is it and here you can see there is a some kind of like phone like structure this one this one uh, this this thing have a phone like structure this is basically a phone or right? there is a simulated phone the, this it is showing that the phone camera is actually like projecting the filter on top of it all right so this is basically the camera all right so i hope you understand right now this is basically as i told you this is the scene window all right and uh, this one is kind of like the game window in uh, unity all right uh, so this uh, game window in spark air 2 all right so this this is you we use this one for simulating all right now as we uh, learned about hierarchy in unity right similarly in uh, spark air also there is another panel this is called scene panel all right so what exactly it does is it contains all the objects that are present in the scene right you can add uh, add new objects in it you can manipulate those objects right from here all right like uh, here you can see here is the camera object right in here all right here is the camera object right so this is the hierarchy window from unity all right so try to understand it like this now let's see uh, the inspector window of you know spark ar actually in spark ar it is called properties window all right but if you want you can even call it call it inspector window all right but it is actually known as properties window so this uh, this is also like the unity's inspector window all right it also contains all the editable uh, properties of a particular object right like here you can see that we can see oh, if we if we click the camera we can see its properties right in here here uh, here are multiple options in there Th these are not editable of course but uh, let's say uh, <clears throat> let's let's try out this directional light so here you can see that uh, this directional light is editable we can decrease and increase the uh, means intensity we can change the positions uh, we can change the rotations right so we can edit those all right this is kind uh, this is property window just like the inspector window from unity all right now in unity there was also something called uh, project window right similarly here goes an uh, here is also one project window called assets window all right so this is uh, like it is to uh, it is under it is basically under the scene panel so you can see it right in here and you can actually drag and drop or import the assets right in here all right now this is for the basic interface all right now let me show you some more things all right like let's say uh, i want to for 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 testing my uh, filter better like for adjusting the filter what i can do i, I want to pause this character right so right to, uh, in your left all right like in the in the left of uh, the interface you would see a pause button if you click on that pause button the the video uh, the video playback would be paused right now if you again play it then it would start playing right now let's say oh i don't want that character all right i i want to uh, test with many other characters there is all right because uh, his face like the shape of his face is different than others right so i want i also want to adjust the 3d model uh, to others like to others face shape right so what i can do is i can simply get another one in here right uh, then there's another one then there's another one then th there are many presets available all right and if you if you want to try it on yourself then 
they are uh, like the ca- currently i'm on my laptop so this is the camera i have all right called easy camera so i can uh, i can click on that and get the camera view on here right but currently i don't want the camera view so i'm going to keep uh, this person right now all right so this is basically the things that you would be needing as of now all right to create the projects and i would also be telling you many other things as far as we move right and uh, let me let me show you all right how you can get a uh, free 3d models free 3d i means free patches and all those things from in spark ar only all right so just uh, what you have to do is in the in the assets panel you have to click on this ar library all right and a window will appear some, something like this all right so let me pause this character for a minute all right let me pause it all right and let's get this this window all right so here you can see that there are multiple uh, multiple options in here there all right there are multiple templates available first of all let's say i want a 3d object right i can click on 3d objects or search for any 3d objects i want all right so and pick it from there all right these these uh, 3d models are free to use all right and uh, let's say i want uh, any any sort of music or sound i can i can get that right i can get that from spark ar only then there are patch assets patch are basically there's there's two ways to uh, code in spark ar one is uh, visual scripting that is the patch editor where you have to move blocks here and there and connect a uh, one block to another to code and there is that we can code it through scripting all right so there are presets available you can use those presets all right let's say if we if we want textures we can get those textures from here also if we want uh, mm-hmm. blocks all right we can also go get those blocks from here if we want the script packages all right we can also get these script packages from here if we want if we want color lut's we can even get these from here all right so spark ar has a pretty good ecosystem for its creators all right and uh, if you talk about how to launch our own filters all right so to launch our own filters what you uh, what you would be needing is a, a facebook account all right and an instagram account to launch your uh, ar filters on instagram all right so make sure you have a facebook account at least all right and uh, of course uh, to upload it on instagram you also need a instagram account right so yeah cool great So this is it for uh, this lecture all right see you in the next lecture thank you